Hey guys, Windows Tech Channel here. So, uh, as you guys are, uh, as you guys are staring at me now, this is the um, Dell Inspiron 9400 machine that we're going to be taking a look at in this video. Um, I actually did have another video planned for this today. In fact, it was going to be a redo of a video that I was going to do in um, October of 2023 that I only did like one part of and just abandoned after that because, well, ran into some issues. And that was going to be a um, video where I installed Beta 2 of Windows Vista and then upgraded to Release Candidate 1 and then maybe to the Ultimate build. You know, kind of like how MJD would do his upgrade sagas with Windows Betas. Now, I initially wanted to do it from Windows XP to Beta 2, but unfortunately, the Windows XP disk I have is... Um, actually, I'll pan down a bit real quick. Um... My Windows XP disk is right back there, and it unfortunately is SP1 only, so I theoretically could do it with the um, Compact SR1410MX, since that has um, Service Pack 2 pre-installed, but, um, you know, I think I'm going to, you know, I think I'm going to try and hunt down an, a physical copy of Windows XP with Service Pack 2 already installed, and speak up physicals, as you guys saw in the last Community Tab post. Um, I am getting Windows Home Server 2011 in the mail soon, and uh, I left it out, but um, the listing also has three sticks of RAM, DDR RAM in it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. But today we're going to be doing something a little bit interesting. Now, you guys know me well enough to know that I um, love OEM system recoveries and have, a whole, and, and have a whole ton of videos regarding them. And well, that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. This... What, what I have burned on this DVD rewritable here is um, a version of Ubuntu um, version. Uh, um, f uh, this is um, 8.04, released in uh, April 2008. What's interesting about this is that this, this actually would have come pre-installed on a Dell machine. So, um, and I did actually find another Dell um, thing with... Uh, with a version of Ubuntu installed for a 2020 machine, and I'm going to try that on my, um, I'm actually going to try that, um, in a future video on one of my more modern machines. So, let's go ahead and see what this is all about. And I'm going to boot into the BIOS so you guys can see the specifications here. Of course, it will report itself as a MP061 machine. Ignore that. And since it's a little bit late on a Saturday night, I'm just gonna have a, gonna be a whole process of lights out. Okay. So the BIOS version is A07 with the date of February 5th, 2007. Uh, the processor in here is an Intel Core 2 Duo at 1.6 gigahertz. And it has two gigs of RAM in here. I might upgrade it to four. Um, and and for the video, we have an ATI Mobility Radeon X 1400 card, and the native resolution is a 1440 by 900 uh, display. Um, unfortunately, the battery is dead in here. And um, that's not, okay. It's gonna, oh, well, that's not right either. Okay, um, boot sequence, okay. So now that so now that you guys have the basic specs of this thing, let's go ahead and get this going. And the last disc I had for this wouldn't even boot. Okay, so oh, that's a bigger that's a bigger display resolution than last time. All right, so it says welcome to the Dell Mini Restore DVD. Yes, this came with the Dell Mini. Um, now this is not the first time you guys have seen this. Um, as uh, Michael MJD did a video on this. Um, with his um, other Dell. Oh, that's the other thing. I forgot to mention, um, this thing would have come pre-installed with either Windows XP or Windows Vista. And I say or Windows Vista because I found out that um, I found out the hard way that this thing runs pretty much well under Windows Vista. Like, it has all the drivers and everything installed. So, actually, I would like to think this is, that this is a Windows Vista machine that was uh, that got the downgrade to Windows XP. So... That's my only guess. So we're going to go ahead and press enter here and I'm going to type proceed. And I'm assuming I have to hit enter here. All right. And now it's going to start the recovery process. Ready. 
and um, and you are actually able to do this on a um, VM as well since Dell never locked the BIOS to anything. And from my experience with with at least Windows installs, that is, um, with Windows 7, you do actually have to activate the OS um, after after that. It has like a zero day activation bug from what I see, and that's just if you install it on a uh, non Dell machine. But Ubuntu, hey, why do they care? But anyway, um. We're just going to let it do its thing, and I'll come back once this is done. That's the install process, and uh, it just spit out the disk. <laughs> all right, MBR, all right. And here we are at the uh, Dell EULA here. Oh, and by the way, um, no, I do not have the original um, software to reinstall the, and then reinstall the uh, drivers and whatnot for this machine for either XP or Vista, so whatever. Um, Anyway, um, we totally read the Dell EULA, and, oh, okay, that's, uh, <laughs> okay, that, it's not really going to do much, but, alright. <laughs> Starting up, and there's the, uh, boot screen for Ubuntu. I assume it's going to take us straight to the desktop. And here we are. Oh, and it looks like it already has the drivers for us. All right, so we're at the system configuration here. All right, so our um, in, or, sorry, language is English. We're in the US. Man, this mass acceleration is like so fast. Um, we are in New York. I just wanted to see if my city is anywhere in here. Um, clearly not. All right, forward, USA, okay, forward, and let's go ahead and do, and not window A, okay, um, going to do, okay, And we do not have the EULA pop-up for some reason. And what's it doing now? Alright, that, that was a really loud boot-up sound, but yeah, that was rather quick. And here we are at the Ubuntu Help Center. Um, going to see if I can get this thing connected to the internet real quick. All right, unfortunately, I was not able to get this thing connected to the internet, but we do have on here the um, desktop here. Oh, we have changed desktop background. Um, let's see what we have here. Um, not liking a bunch of these, but yeah, let's use this one. Um, fill screen. Oh, yeah, this thing is really slow, by the way, I just noticed. Um, alright, so, we do have this UI here. <clears throat> by the way, this is not going to be, uh, but this is not going to be permanent. Um, I'm probably gonna, um, still do the Windows Vista video, but, you know. Last FM, you know, all that stuff. Games... It's basically just your standard set of games. It's mostly for kids, you know. Learn. 
uh, potato guy. <laughs> Guess I didn't have the rights for that. Uh, oh, Japanese study tool. I could use it. <laughs> cool. Yeah, but yeah, I would not use this as my daily operating system, and I definitely would not recommend it to you guys either. Product productivity. It looks like it's got Adobe Reader um, pre-installed in here. And yeah, there's really only a few signs that um, this is a Dell machine. Like, even if I go to system and um, we got about GNOME. Welcome to the GNOME desktop build date. It's either, oh, bought to you by, well, <laughs> um, it's either March 6th or June 3rd of 2008. And then if we go to about Ubuntu, then it's, um, yep, at least in April 2008, so that probably was June for that, but yeah. And then all of this is basically just the exact same thing here. So, that being said, uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for today's video. It's just a quick little video on showing in a Ubuntu recovery process. And uh, I definitely do, and, oh, and like I said, I do have an, I do have another disk downloaded. It was for a Dell XPS system that uh, we're going to take a look at in another video because we're going to be installing it on a modern machine. I'm thinking my HP machine from 2020, that yes, I realize I have yet to do a full system recovery process video on. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So, uh, otherwise, that's it for now, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.